Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can host your website for free. So this method doesn't cost any money and it's very easy to do. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can host your website with no money because there are a ton of options to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first step is type in infinity free, infinity free like this. And then here you go. This is the website infinityfree.net. You want to hit this website. And basically this is a, um, a company that offers free web hosting worldwide and it's relatively fast and easy to set up. So that's why we are going to be using infinity, infinity free. So you can read something about them here. It's fast. It has a lot of uptime, unlimited hosting, as you can see, all these benefits from this company. So you, we hit the button, sign up right now, then sign up with your email, password, and confirm that you're not a robot. So I'm going to do that right now. So I've entered in all my details right here. So now you have to tick this box that says, I've read and agreed to the terms of service, and also select, I'm not a robot, and then select um, everything. There we go. Then hit the blue button, create new account right here. Then you can save it and now we have to verify our email. So you get a verification link to your email and you have to verify and then we can access to the panel. So I have my link uh, here. So this is my verification link. And as you can see, now my email address has been verified and this is how it looks right now. You can see your account, the account's right here and here you can create an account. So basically what an account on this is where you can add your domain and get the hosting. So hit create account then you can uh, get a subdomain from um, Infinity Free, but we can also connect our own domain. So I have my own domain right here. So let's go to manage domain. So if you're using Freenum as well, that's nice. You have to go to manage domain, go to management tools, name servers, use custom name servers. And when you um, copy the, um, the domain name from here, uh, you want to put it in here as a custom domain like this, then hit search domain, and then you can see that it is available. Then the account username is automatically uh, um, generated. Then select, um, I'm not a robot, parking meters, and then hit create account. And now you get an error. As you can see, this is normal that you get an error because you want to put these name servers in here. So basically put them all in here and then change this one to two, this one to three, this one to four, and this one to five. And then when you hit change name servers, they will automatically uh, be uppercased. And now you don't have to do anything right here. And now you have to wait a couple of seconds. So for me, this won't take very long, but for you, it may take up to an hour for this to connect. So let's refresh, then hit create account, and as you can see for me, it already says um, that it's not available yet. That's because it still has to connect. This takes some time. That's, yeah, it's really annoying, but yeah, you just have to wait. You can't do anything else. So then when you hit create account, you can see my account has been created and now you can go into the control panel. So this is basically the backend panel of your hosting with your website and domain. So hit open control panel and this will bring you over to cpanel.appisi.com. Here you have to approve by hitting the green button and now you're in cpanel, so it's called Vista panel, but this is, this is basically the same and we can install or upload our website. So if you want to upload your website, you can go to online file manager, you can go to um, hddocs and you can upload your website right here. It also says files for your website should be uploaded here. But if you prefer WordPress or any other builder, I'm going to show you how to install that. So you want to go back to the cPanel. You want to scroll all the way down to you see Softoculus apps installer. And as you can see, you see the uh, WordPress logo already. You can uh, hit this. And as you can see, he, uh, he, as you can see, you can install a ton of uh, builders. So you can install WordPress but also Drupal, I don't know where that is, but you can install a lot of things. So let's say we want to install WordPress. We hit WordPress and then hit install, then select the name. You can select the WordPress uh, username, the language, so everything clear. 
then hit install right here and now it's going to install wordpress on your hosting servers with the domain so this as you can see it says it, this maybe take three to four minutes so you don't have to leave this page because it's going to upload the data on your website so it's already done as you can see and if you want to um, upload things yeah just go ahead and uh, skip this but now you installed wordpress and as you can see here is the link of your website a uh, website http free website test 3 and this is the administrative URL to go into WordPress. So if you want to do that, you're, you're free to do that and just um, just upload everything on your WordPress website to make it a blog or something like that. And here you can also manage your, um, your domain. So you can see domain, add-on domains or subdomains. You can add all of that. So let's go to add on domains first. Here you can see this is the uh, name servers and this is the, um, the domain name. So we can go back as well, go to subdomains. We can add a subdomain. So let's do um, test uh, sub one, set a test sub three, your domain create. And this takes a couple of seconds. And there you go, you added your um, subdomain. You can find it in the home direct directory when we go back to the vista panel and go to online file manager uh, you can see that the subdomain has been added to your site as you can see right here and also this stuff this is from wordpress because um softaculous is the wordpress installator and now you put it on your website which is great you can basically find anything here to do on your website. So this is the hosting, even SSL or TLS, Cloudflare. And if this helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time.